I met Greg while I was working at uh, US West, the old phone company, and Greg was the new executive director for Club 20. Um, what a fireball. <laughs> he, was, he came in to take Western Colorado by storm, and indeed he did, and it was just a, a lot of fun working with Greg. You know, I, I first met Greg way back in the 1970s when he was working for Senator Armstrong. Um, even then, he had a reputation as a, as a young man who knew um, about Western Colorado and about natural resources. I ran for the legislature in 1982. Greg helped advise me on that, and uh, we've been friends ever since. You know, I've uh, known Greg for so long, I don't remember how we first met, but a long time ago, I mean uh, 25 years or more, maybe 30, uh, Greg came to work for me in my office in Washington when I was a member of the United States Senate. Um, he's a he's a real thinker. Comes across as a as a good old boy, but but uh, Greg Walcher has great intellect. And gosh, in the years he worked with me when I was governor of Colorado, he accomplished some great things. In fact, I, I came to regard him as uh, not only knowledgeable, but but just the, the most uh, well, really the most wise. Uh, and thoughtful person of his generation. By and large, the comments that I've gotten about Greg's tenure are very positive. Greg fought for the Western Slope and they appreciated that. There was a quality about him that was very unusual, a certain uh, judgment, a certain wisdom, a certain uh, gravitas, I guess you would say, that you don't usually find in young people, even talented and, and exceptional young people. Uh, he was a guy who had, even then, even as a youngster, a lot of common sense and a lot of wisdom. It's Greg Walcher's leadership, both in Colorado and of the, as, as president of the National Association of Natural Resource Officers, forced the federal government, to, for the first time really, to tell us what's our goal, and then we work to implement that goal. It was huge for economic development in western Colorado, a huge win for endangered species and for all of us. But Greg was always one to be sure that we took a very good, strong delegation to Washington, D.C. And having lived in Washington, D.C. as a con congressional staffer, he knew the places to go. So the Club 20 Washington, D.C. trips were absolutely fun. So we're hoping to be worthy of Greg <laughs> as we move forward. He's a doer. I mean, he's, he's a sort of a person who can sit around and think about a problem. But when the thinking's over, he's ready to go out and make things happen. You know, they say that there's three kinds of people in the world, those who uh, watch things, there's those who make things happen, there's those who watch things happen, and then there's some that afterwards say, well, what happened? He's in that first category. I mean, he makes things happen. Uh, he, he's a man of thought, but he's also a man of uh, action. You know, he was one of the most popular members of our cabinet. You know, when you pull together, 10 or 12 uh, individuals and, and, and require them to work as a team, sometimes there's some, some friction, and yet everybody likes Greg Walcher. Don't always agree with him, though I always agree with Greg, and I guess as governor that was, that was the important one he had to have agree with him. But uh, Greg, Greg works well with people that he was able to accomplish a lot, where sometimes people who are more rigid or or dogmatic wouldn't have been able to. I do, I do know that every time I would go to Washington, D.C. with Greg Walsher, we had to go find crab cakes. <laughs> he is definitely a crab cake fan. So as a matter of fact, we just took Club 20 back to D.C. in May of this year. And I called Greg and Greg and Diana and Orville and the kids and I went out to dinner and we went in search of crab cakes. So <laughs> that's Greg. <laughs> um, it created a real national reputation elected as president of the National Association of Natural Resource Directors. So he was the top among the 50 in the country. A lot of uh, reasons why I think you've made a great choice picking Greg as outstanding alumni. Greg and his life with, with uh, Diana together are our role models of what it means to be uh, men and women of integrity. Hi, Greg. I think this is an honor that is well-deserved on your part, and I can tell you from Club 20 and all those that you interacted with at Club 20 that they so appreciated all your efforts in terms of helping Western Colorado address a number of issues at the state and federal level. 
I have really appreciated your friendship over the years and your continued friendship. And I just love hanging out with you and Diana. So I'm looking forward to seeing you at the end of this month. And I look forward to continuing our work together. Take care, Greg. Greg, I so wish I could be with you tonight at Colorado Mesa and in Grand Junction. But uh, my requirements are that I'm going to be overseas on the night that you're enjoying this, uh, this dinner. But I just want to tell you a thank you on behalf of the people of Colorado for all you've done for the state. And I want to tell you thank you from me for all you've done for me personally and for our administration. Have a great time tonight. Wish I could be there. Greg, I'm uh, awfully glad to have a chance to congratulate you on winning this wonderful honor. Uh, you certainly deserve it. Uh, I, I think it's just terrific that you're being recognized in this way by your school and by your fellow alumni. Uh, all I can say is uh, thank you for your friendship. God bless you. Uh, may uh, all your dreams come true and whatever plans you're making, I, I just pray that they'll be fulfilled many times over, even that God will grant you uh, success beyond anything you're now dreaming of or contemplating. You're the best, Greg, and I, I really wish you every good thing of life.